Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're making a brand new split pony. We're going to be making a split pony of Nightmare Rarity and Rarity. I've made lots of split ponies recently, including Twine Vine Sparkle and Twilight Sparkle, Princess Luna and Nightmare Moon, Pinkamena and Pinkie Pie, Flutterbat and Fluttershy, and many more. Which ones have you seen? This was a highly requested custom and I've been thinking about it for a long time. My biggest issue was the hair issue. Both Rarity and Nightmare Rarity have long flowy hair and I wasn't sure how to capture it with clay. So I really hope she turns out well. To make this custom, we're going to be using Princess Cadence. We need to remove her wings but I like her larger size than the other ponies that I have. Before we start, if you like split ponies, be sure to subscribe and join the notification squad by clicking on the bell button. This will notify you whenever I post a video, which is pretty much every day. Alright, let's get started! The first thing we will need to do is remove the hair. I'm going to use scissors to remove the mane. And now the tail. Using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to remove the wings. If you're also doing this, make sure to be careful because X-Acto knives are very sharp. After removing the head, we're going to cut out the neck plug to make more space for our long nose pliers to reach in. The long nose pliers will help us reach the inside of the head to grab the hair and pull out the stubs. Using 100% acetone, I'm going to remove the paint on the body. This includes the hooves, the necklace, and kitty mark on Princess Cadence. I didn't take off the eyes because I want to use them as a guide for the new eyes. So using white, I'm going to redraw the eyes for Rarity on the right side. And now larger ones for Nightmare Rarity on the left side. We're now going to paint the right side of the pony, which is going to be Rarity's side, white. For Nightmare Rarity, I'm going to paint her a very dark purple. After a few coats, this purple is actually going to look almost black. Alright, let's pull up the tape. And as you can see, we have a pretty neat line going right down the middle. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish the eyes. For Nightmare Rarity, we're going to repaint the white with a light blue color. Then with a the darker blue, we're going to add eyeshadow. Right under the eyeshadow, we're going to line it with black and extend it out into eyelashes. Then we're going to paint the irises using a darker blue color. The pupils are going to be dark blue and oval shaped, almost cat-like. The white reflective dots are going to be diamond shaped instead of circles. Now we're going to add her cutie mark.
And finally, we're going to paint the shoes on her hooves a metallic purple color. Okay, now we're ready for Rarity side. We're going to start with light blue eyeshadow. Under the eyeshadow, we're going to line it with black and add long eyelashes. Now I'm going to paint the irises using blue. The pupils are going to be black. And we're going to add two white dots. Finally, we're going to add her cutie mark. Okay, we're ready to make the mane and tail. So to do this, I'm going to be using oven baked clay. This will give me more time to work without the clay drying out. For Nightmare Rarity's mane, with a flat piece of clay, I'm cutting out a large oval piece. Then we're going to smooth the edges and start to shape it so that it looks like it's flowing. Once we're happy with the shape, we can attach it to the left side for Nightmare Rarity. To add more volume, we're going to add a second piece and blend the top portion of the two pieces together. Before we work on Rarity side, we're going to bake it first. Now for rarity side, we're going to use a smaller piece of triangle shaped clay. I'm going to take the bottom of this triangle and curl it up. Then we'll attach it to the head on the right side. On the back of the head, we're going to fill in the gap with a smaller piece. Going back to Nightmare Rarity, we're going to use colored clay and add a necklace and a crown. And remember, this is going to be just half. After baking the clay, now we're ready to paint again. We're going to start with a white stripe down the hair on Nightmare Rarity. Then I'm going to paint the rest of the hair dark violet, both on the outside and also on the inside. For Rarity's hair, we're going to paint it a dark purple. Now to make the tail, we're going to start with a large long piece of clay and similar to the mane, we're going to smooth the edges down and shape it so that it looks like it's flowing. On Rarity side, we're going to attach one end to Nightmare Rarity's tail and then score the body of the tail using an X-Acto knife. Instead of making it flowing, we're going to curl it. After baking, we'll start by painting a large white strip down Nightmare Rarity's tail. And then paint the rest of dark violet.
On Verity side, we're going to match the mane and paint it a dark purple color. Alright everyone, so my split pony is done. What do you guys think? So I really like the way it turned out. I was a bit nervous at first about the hair because I wasn't quite sure how to make Nightmare Rarity's uh, long flowy hair. So the way I did it was to make it look like it's one large piece and then have it uh, end in kind of two wavy pieces on the bottom. You can see that. The tail is one piece. But um, just like the mane, it is uh, nice and curvy. And I also made it so that it touches the floor or the bottom just because the clay is a bit heavy and I didn't want it to break off. So it does rest on the table to take the weight off. So here is an up close look of Nightmare Rarity. What's um, so. So because of the hair, you can't actually see the eyes very well, but I actually like the way the eyes turned out um, before we covered it with the hair. And also, of course, we'll need to get a little bit of her necklace and also a little bit of her crown. And here is Rarity's side. So Rarity here, of course, has a, a lighter colored hair. So her hair is purple instead of violet. And also her hair is a little bit more structured. So there are curls and straight instead of uh, long and flowy. And again, there are her eyes on the inside. You can barely see them. She doesn't have any other body markings other than her cutie mark. And so there's her cutie mark and her tail. And so here is the back of the pony. As you can see, it starts out as one piece and then it splits off into the two different styles. And because of the hair, you can't actually see um, Nightmare Rarity's cutie mark, but it is down there somewhere. <laughs> And just to compare, I do have my Nightmare Rarity. <laughs> I think I used Princess Celestia, so she's a little bit bigger. And of course, over here, I have another Rarity. <laughs> so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my split pony. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we are making another split pony using one of the main six. So I've already made a number of split ponies using the main six ponies. I've made one for Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, Rarity, and also Twilight Sparkle. Which ones have you seen? Today I have Rainbow Dash and turning half of her into Wonderbolt and the other half into a Shadow Bolt. So I think this is going to be a very fun custom. So if you're new to this channel and have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll be notified when my next custom comes out. Alright, let's get started. So the figure we're going to be using is this Rainbow Dash, and this is because her hair is molded. So her mane and her tail is molded, and we don't have to repaint it. What's really nice is that she also comes with goggles. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the tail and the wings. And this is because these are removable. And since we're not going to paint them, we're going to take them off and set them aside. We actually can't remove the mane, but we'll paint around it carefully. The next thing I'm going to do is add a piece of tape right down the middle and this will help me divide the pony in half. So on the right side we're going to make it Wonder Bolt and this is because we want to keep this cutie mark here and on the other side we'll draw in the Shadow Bolt cutie mark. Next, using a little bit of liquid mask, I'm going to use it to protect the cutie mark so that we don't paint over it. So all we're going to do is paint a little bit over the cutie mark and later on we can just peel it off. Now we're ready to paint. On the Wonderbolt side, I'm going to paint the body a bright blue color. I'm going to give this about three coats just so that it fully covers Rainbow Dash. 
and paint around the ears. and also around the mouth. Alright, so now that the Wonderbolt side is done, we are going to take out this tape. You can see we have a very nice clean line. And to take off the mask, all you have to do is take a tweezer and we're going to just pull it off. It still looks very good. On the shadow bolt side, we're going to paint the body a dark purple. And this will probably take up another three coats to get it fully covered. On the shadow bolt side, we're going to paint the face a dark gray color. We're also going to use the dark gray and paint the hooves. On the Wonderbolt side, we're going to paint in the yellow sections. So there's a little bit of yellow around the ears. There's some yellow on the chest. And there's also yellow lightning around the legs. And some yellow lightning around the legs. Now we're going to paint the yellow sections. So there's a little bit of yellow around the neck.
And finally, we're going to paint the cutie mark. For the goggles, I'm taking a pair of the Wonderbolt goggles and a pair of the Shadowbolt goggles and we're going to snip them in half and glue them back together. Okay, so we're going to take these two and we're going to glue them together and make one pair of glasses from it. Alright everyone, so here is Rainbow Dash. On the left side, she is a Wonderbolt. And on the right side, she is a Shadow Bolt. What do you guys think? So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my split pony. And if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we are making a brand new custom split pony using Applejack. I've already made split ponies of the rest of the main six, including Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Pinkie Pie. Which one has been your favorite so far? With Applejack, we're going to make her into half Apple Jewel and half Applejack. Apple Jewel is a dressed up fancy version of Applejack who appears in the Simple Ways episode of the fourth season of My Little Pony. Before we start, if you're new to this channel and like my custom ponies, please subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Alright, let's get started! So the first thing I want to do is to remove the hair. We're going to remake the hair using clay. So using my scissors, we're just going to cut it really close to the scalp. And we're also going to cut off the tail. So for this custom, we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're not going to remove the roots of the hair. I'm just going to leave it on and we're going to cover it up with clay. And also, I'm not going to remove the glitter off her feet. Sometimes with the acetone, it kind of ruins the body underneath and since I'm not going to be painting her body, it's not going to be covered up. Taking a ball of clay, we're going to make Applejack's tail. So we're going to roll out into a log that's more tapered on one end. And then we're going to start shaping it into Applejack's tail. And when it's done, it's going to look a little bit like this. And what I did was also made it flat on one side because we only want half of her tail. So this way, it's nice and flat on one end. For Applejack's mane, we're going to take a round piece and we're going to flatten it out a little bit and make it into a teardrop. Once we have the shape that we want, we can put it over Applejack's head. And because this is a split pony, I'm going to cut the mane right down the middle of the head. For the other part of the mane, we're going to do something similar. We're going to take a log and we're going to shape it and then place it along her neck. And we're also going to fill in this gap with extra clay. On Apple Jewel's side, we're going to work with smaller pieces. I'm adding a small piece on the back here. It's a little bit flipped up. And we're going to work our way up to the front. Here on top of the head, I'm adding a larger piece to make it look like she has an updo. Then we're going to add a few more pieces of her hair coming down from the top of the head. And another piece of bangs on the front. 
After baking, the hair is nice and hard. Because I wasn't too good at keeping the clay clean when I was working on it, I'm going to paint over the mane. I'm also going to make it a little bit darker than the original color of the clay. Next, we're going to make Apple Jewel's dress. Here, I have a cutout of the dress on a piece of paper towel. Taking a flat piece of white clay and a wavy edge cutter, I'm going to cut out the first layer. Now, we're going to take this white piece and place it over the pink piece. Then, I'm going to trim it so that we get this longer piece of pink underneath the white. Next, with strips of green, we're going to lay it out in the grid. Then placing a piece of plexiglass or something flat, we're going to flatten it a little bit so that the pieces stick together. Now we have this really cool grid and we're going to place it over the white. Then using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to trim the edges to give it a cleaner look. Alright everyone, so we are done. What do you think of Apple Jewel? So her hair was the hardest part to do. I ended up using quite a lot of pieces put together to give her that updo look and I think it turned out pretty cute. I especially love the little curl on the side of her face. For Applejack, her side is actually pretty normal. So we have her bangs sweeping down the front and also a bit of the mane coming down the side of her shoulders. And of course, she has an Applejack tail with a hair tie. Another fun piece to make was her dress. So her dress is actually three different pieces. So we have the white main piece with the pink underneath and we have this little green piece that's in the grid pattern laid out on top. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my Applejack and Apple Jewel split pony. And finally, we've done all six of the main ponies as split ponies. I wonder what I should do next. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!